Younger boys are trending conservative and younger girls are trending liberal. This is 12th grade though, so pre-college, and we all know how college indoctrinates young men into liberal pussies. That's a narrative, right? I think the young girls part makes sense. If they are spending a lot of time on Insta and TikTok, which is a generic idea but probably true, they probably see a lot of semi-woke influencer content, because that's how people paid to sell eye makeup convince you they're actually human. We've previously blamed teenage female depression on liberalism, so this tracks. The guy side is more interesting, but only 25% of guys identified as conservative, with 13% liberal, which means 62% of those surveyed are basically apathetic to both sides or just hoping to get laid at prom. This makes sense too. Imagine if you're 17 right now, and assuming your parents are still together, you've probably seen them both slaving away for some Hitler in a suit guy or lady. You spent one and a half years cooped up with them taking early high school Zoom classes as they jumped on a call. And when your parents' friends get together, all they talk about is dumb ideology stuff. You'd probably be burnt on the whole thing too, and just want to play video games and hope that Becky from AP English is interested in you. I was 17 once. That was 25 years ago, but I was 17 and I know the heart and mind of a 17-year-old boy. Both men and women have problems as they become adults. The problems are of different natures, but both genders or sexes confront issues. I think guys have way more of an existential crisis than we admit. I also can't see women being happy if they're getting on Instagram at 13. That's a whole platform of mostly phony shit. Parent less to the gender and more to the experience of being human and needing to relate to lots of different types of people of all genders. And that's an ecosystem that gained some more area in the last decade. I think this issue is less about political leaning and more about how we're approaching girls in a more logical way these days, after years of favoring boys in many ways. I think the answer is probably better dads that talk about the whole experience of being a man and being a broken man and not just the chest-puffing workaholic bullshit. That crap probably does create young Trump voters because those dads are probably in the car raking the homeless over the coals. In some parent to the human experience, be a human yourself and help people as best you can.